Spurred on TV, my name is The Premium Rat and welcome back to the FIFA 16 preview video. As you guys know, we play West Ham on Sunday. Always a big game. It's their cup final. These lot f***ing hate us. They hate us for some reason. They've got no one else to hate, so they hate Spurs more than anyone. Anyway, um, this is going to be the team that I think will start against West Ham. Pretty much the same side that played against Arsenal. There's no need to change it. If we're playing the same side week in, week out, we're getting results. Poch won't change it too much. And so we've gone for Lloris... Rose, Vertonghen, Alderweireld and Walker as the back four. The two now England heroes of De Dyer, sorry, and Deli Alley. I've gone for Eriksson on the left, Dembele at Cam and Lamella uh, on the right just because those three have been in terrific form and of course Harry Kane up front. In terms of injury news then, um, I believe Chadley is still out and also during international break, Bentaleb was taken off. Um, it was He was close to be cu coming back to in um, from injury but apparently he got, he got taken off for Algeria and so he could be out for for another while um, yet yeah. but Son is now back fit but as I said um, why change a side that's been playing well and so Son will probably come off the bench at some point but uh, that's the team that I believe will play against West Ham so as always guys we're going to be playing on legendary let's see how we get on anyway here's Lloris and throws it to Ericsson get the counter attack on the go now and here's Kane Dembele's made a good run through the middle actually and he's been found and Dembele's just gone past Jenkins and referee it's got to be a pen in it don't know if it'll be a pen. I think the foul was outside the box. But it could be a red card for Jenkinson. It's going to be a straight red for the Arsenal man on loan. I believe he's still on loan. He's going to get some stick on Sunday, I'm telling you. Especially if he puts in tackles like that. And with 13 minutes on the clock, Jenkinson's bagged himself a red card. Dembele just danced past him like he was a f***ing training cone. And he's brought the foul on the edge of the box. And it's going to be... Ericsson, the free kick maestro, to step up 20 yards. Maybe a bit close to get it up and over the wall. West Ham have moved the wall closer. But it's going to be Ericsson. Can he step up and give us the lead? Ah, oh, unlucky. Walker against Moses this time. It's going to be a good foot race. And Moses has actually gone past him. What's Walker going to do now? He's got to stop the cross because Carroll's in there and he's going to be dangerous. Moses is still coming inside. He's gone past all the Vireld. Good save from Lloris. And I don't believe it. Shocking defending from me. I think it's Andy Carroll has smashed that into the top corner. And West Ham with 10 men have somehow taken the lead. Shocking from me. Completely my own fault. Walker didn't do nothing. All the YRL just let him waltz past. And Carroll was unmarked after the save from Lloris. And we're 1-0 down, boys. That is not a good start. Ali feeds Dembele. Can we get one back straight away? Here's Eric Lamella. He's got loads of room. Can he get a strike at goal? It's Eric Lamella. That'll do. 1-1. One, one. Straight away. Straight away. West Ham still celebrating. The defence was not set. Dembele did well. Slipped in Lamella and within 30 seconds we've equalised. As easy as that. Ali did well. Gave it to Dembele. Lamella had all the time in the world. Cut it back onto his left foot and smashed one into the far corner. And it's one all straight away. And we've also made a sub. We're going to take Dyer off and we've brought Son on just to give us that little bit of pace on the left-hand side. It's going to be Eric Lamella to whip in the corner. Who's there? Deli Alley's there and Son's there and heads it down to Harry Kane on the edge of the box. No options for him though, so he's going to have to kind of do it himself. He's done all right actually to wriggle a yard, but he's still got no options. Here's Deli Alley and here's Moussa Dembele and it's Christian Eriksen. That'll do, boys. That'll do. The comeback's complete. Two goals in the space of five minutes. And we've taken the lead just before half-time. Ball was whipped in from a corner. Kane kind of did well. Someone was all over him. Found Ali. Found Dembele. Found Eriksen in acres of space. You cannot give the little man that much time and space there. Because he will punish you. And that's exactly what he's done. And we're now 2-1 up, boys. Well done. Kane's in. Oh, it's Ericsson, actually. I thought it was Kane, but it's Ericsson straight away. Can we add a third just before half time? Oh, it's come off the post. I don't believe it. West Ham are all over the gaff. West Ham just do not know what's hit them. Ericsson to swing it in. And Son Mint's there and it's 3 1. I don't believe it. West Ham are all over the place. Corner was whipped in. Two goals from corners, pretty much. Ball was whipped in from Ericsson. Son Min was. There was no one within 10 yards of him. Gets his head on the ball. I think it may have come off Kuyate on the line. He's tried to clear it. It's come off someone. Keeper's got absolutely no chance. And that is 3-1. And that is pretty much game over. Ali. Eriksson's in there as well. All the Vireld. I don't believe it. Where's the defending? And they've 
He scored again. West Ham just opened us up like a can of beans there. Kuyate is going to go and celebrate with one of the substitutes. I've got no idea who that is. It doesn't even look like anyone. Poor from me. Pretty poor, to be fair. Carroll did well. Moses, back to Carroll. I think that's Lanzini there. Found Kuyate in acres of space. Bangs it past Loris near post. And they've pulled one back. 3-2. Lamella. Well done. He's won it back. And here's Harry Kane. Can he get it onto his left foot? He can. It's Harry Kane. Kill the game off. He has done. 4-2. That'll do. That'll surely knock the stuffing out of West Ham now. Lamella did well to win it back, I think it was. Laid in Harry Kane. Dance past. Might have been Tompkins, I think it was. Cut it onto his left foot. He's left Tompkins right on the deck there. And with his left foot, he sent it past Adrian into the near post. And it is 4-2. And that is pretty much game over now. But Dembele will cut it out. Can he slip Kane again down the channel? Here we go. Can we get another one now? Harry Kane, lay it back. Who's there? It's Eric Lamella. Make it five. It's 5-2. Five I don't believe it. That is just rubbing salt in the wounds of West Ham. On the counter-attack. Dembele slipped Kane down the channel. He did well to pull it back. I think it was Kuyate who missed that. Or Ogbonna or one of the two. It fell to Lamella. And he's got all the time in the world to pick out the corner. And it is 5-2. Alderweirel did so, so well. And here's Eriksen. And he's got the strength to hold off Ogbonna. And he's laid through Moussa Dembele. Has he got the pace? He does. It's Moussa Dembele. Referee. Is he given the pen? He's given the pen. I don't believe it. In the 93rd minute, I thought he'd given the goal kick. Moussa Dembele galloping into the box. I think that's Kuyate again, to be fair. He wins the ball. It's a great challenge. That's why I didn't think it was a pen. And why not? It's going to be Harry Kane to step up. Can we make it six? He's going to put it in the top left. Sends Adrian the wrong way. And do you know what? Just to be an absolute f**k. We're going to celebrate in front of the West Ham fans. 6-2. What an absolute mauling. And we've deserved that, to be fair. I know West Ham went down to 10 men early on. But... They took the lead, but we bounced back very, very well. Three in the first half, three in the second half, and that is Curtains. Referee blows up for full time then. What an absolute whitewash. Curtains for West Ham. We bounced back well after going 1-0 down. West Ham went down to 10 men. Jenkinson, he's going to get some stick on Sunday, I hope. He went down, they went down to 10 men early on. He went off. Uh, they did take the lead, actually, but we bounced back very, very well. Um, and that was a... A fabulous performance. Two goals for Kane. Lamella got on the score sheet as well. Um, I'm not sure who else scored, actually. We'll have to have a look at the stats. There were so many goals. I'm pretty sure Son Min got on the score sheet as well. But other than that, uh, predictions for Sunday. To be honest with you, I can see us. We haven't given West Ham a spanking in a few years. And we owe we owe them one. We owe them a, a, big, a big win, considering they beat us 3-0 at home. Um, and that we haven't really, I don't think we've won against them at home in the past few years. So we owe him a big victory and I believe that will come Sunday. We're in top form there without Payet, I think it is. I think he's injured for a long time. So that's going to hinder their chances. And I hope we can capitalize on that by putting in a big, big performance. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it. If you've enjoyed the video, please drop a thumbs up on it. Um, if you are new around here, do not forget to subscribe. If you want to come and check out my content, I'm sure the link to my channel will be down in the description. Apart from that, I love you all. Come on, you Spurs, on Sunday. And I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye. Hi, guys. It's Barnaby for Spurred On. And I'm here with another episode of what we've brilliantly named The Big Conversation.